All right, guys, I am back after having taken a week off of making videos. Not that I deliberately tried to take a week off. I just couldn't get anything made. Um, it hasn't been easy to, uh, to make it happen, so I just haven't. And I'm trying to not put myself under the pressure of thinking that I have to because that would just kind of kill everything for me. But anyway, anyway, I do want to talk some beard talk today. And I want to make this about, um, you know, things to think about before you abandon your beard goals, before you reach your beard potential. You know, when you first start out on a beard journey and you're, you're thinking about, well, you first, you, you, you might be clean shaven. You might think to yourself, well, I think I, I think I might look good in a beard. I want to try it. I've never done it before. You have no idea where you want to go necessarily, or you might. You might think to yourself, I just want a, uh, I want something more than a five o'clock shadow, right? You want a short beard or, or maybe you're one of these guys like me. You're like, I just want to go for a whole year. I wonder what that would be like. I wonder what I'm up against. And you think to yourself initially that, uh, oh, this is going to be easy. All I have to do is put the razor down and back away from the sink, right? Or the mirror. But it's not that easy. There's a lot to think about. There's a lot to think about. Well, at least there will be. There's things that you have to take into consideration, factors that come into play, and uh, things that get in the way. And so I want to talk about that just briefly here, or at least I'm going to try to make it brief. I only have so much time anyway. So either this video will get made or it won't, and I've tried to make it earlier today, just couldn't. You know, sometimes when I make videos, I'll, I'll, I'll ramble so much that even watching it back to edit it, it annoys me. And so I just I just get rid of it altogether. So I'm winging it this time without notes. But there's a lot of things that make us, make us consider uh, stepping in another direction as far as our beard goals go. And um, having a beard is very important to a guy. You know, it's, it's one, it's, it definitely separates us from the fairer sex, right? I mean, they can't grow a beard. So it's the one thing we can do. And it's probably one of the only things we can have that we can really do to alter our appearance in a great way. Women wear makeup and they can look like a totally different person. Men have beards for that. And, um, you know, it's just the thing that we have. So it's kind of fun to play around with. They're kind of cool to have. And I agree with George Bruno several years ago. He talked about how every man should grow at least one Yeared in his life. That's where you, a year, you have a year-long beard, roughly six inches of a beard, and, and then see what happens. And then you know, do what you want: take it off, grow, grow it out further, trim it back, whatever you want to do. But when you're on this journey, there's there's some things that uh, really kind of get in the way. You know, you, you sometimes you look in the mirror and you're not pleased with what you see because you're in some of these in-between phases. And it's, it's just not, uh, it's not looking great. In fact, it's not feeling great. Sometimes people will say, oh, it's itchy, so I, I got rid of the beard. I just got rid of it. And they don't realize that the longer the beard is, the softer it is, especially if you're using good products. You have all these expectations. You've looked at the pictures on Instagram, and you said, I want to look like that guy right there. But you don't take in consideration that your hair might be different. It might grow in different directions and just behave erratically at times for a while it just take, takes a lot of patience and that's why it's recommended that that you grow out a beard to some length to try your patience you know to to kind of get over that whole immediate gratification thing and um you know it's 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 just uh, it's it's a life it's a life lesson you know, when you're, when you're growing it out. But there's a lot of things that can really make you change your mind about it. You know, here's a thing to take into consideration. If you're, let's say, let's say that you're, uh, you're thinking about growing one. Or maybe you're somewhere in between. You're midway uh, between where you start and where you want to be. Um, there's, there's, there's a few things that you can remember that will help you to reach your beard, your beard potential. And that is, before you, before you make any rash moves, 
wait two weeks. Wait two weeks before you trim, before you shave it off, just wait two weeks. Another thing is you should set a date on the calendar. Um, you know, say, I don't, I'm not gonna do anything. I'm, not, I'm gonna put the scissors and the trimmers down. I'm not gonna do anything to the beard until this date. It could be one month from now, it could be two months, three months, six months, or even a year. So I'm not gonna do anything to it. Do what you think that you can manage, but stick to it. And that will keep you from making some serious mistakes. For me, I'm not touching this beard till July 1st. July 1st. After that, I don't know if I'm going back shorter or if I'm gonna to continue to grow longer or what I'm gonna do. But it does help mitigate <laughs> a potential disaster, uh, a trimming mistake. And, uh, you know, don't overthink. Don't overthink your beard. One, one of the things that happens with guys who are growing their beard out is because it seems like such a big deal, you think about it too much. And thinking about anything too much ruins it. Just absolutely ruins it. So that, that's something you could do too, is just, just be careful. Be careful about thinking about it too much. Just give your brain a break and find something else to pre preoccupy yourself. Also, learn how to experiment with different methods of grooming your beard. Uh, if you're not somebody who ever uses heat or tension or maybe a blow dryer on your beard, then watch some videos about how to do that. I've got a few, other people have got some. There's all sorts of things you can do and you can actually do things that you haven't seen other people do. Play around with it. Instead of trimming it back, instead of trying to make it look better uh, by cutting, try, try using beard products if you're not already. If you're using beard products and you're still not happy with what you see, try using someone else's, like a different brand. And um, it's amazing. They're not all equal across the board. I would say that most of the stuff that's out there is good, but it's not all the same. And they're not all for you. Uh, one, I have found a company that's really good for my beard, really, really good that I'm enjoying so much. It just seems to be very agreeable with my facial hair. And that is Bay Area Beard Company. I'll leave a link down below. The discount code down there likewise, along with some other ones. Um, this phone's a little crooked. Uh, but uh, yeah, you, you have to just kind of try a lot of things. But usually what happens is guys start chopping away. They start cutting away. They, they, they break their little promise to themselves. Another thing is you gotta stop listening to people's opinions. They flip flop all over the place, especially when it comes to, to women. Most men will like your beard. They'll even tell you they like your beard. And the feeling that you get from that is, is a level of respect. And respect is very important to men. It's one of the great things about having a beard is uh, men actually show some level of respect for that. And sometimes it's not what you get from a woman and you so dearly need. Now, there are women that love beards. They're absolutely crazy about them, okay? And, and there's a lot of women that aren't. And I have found out that there's a smattering of women out there that feel absolutely free to tell you exactly what they think of your beard. I've had uh, a server at a restaurant without, without any provocation. She tells me, you know how dirty beards are. My beard must have been this long. I think, I don't know, uh, maybe it was a little bit shorter, but it was very well groomed. And she goes, oh, you know how dirty beards are. Beards are just so dirty. I'm thinking, this, this chick wants a tip? I don't... I, I, just, I never brought my beard up to her. She's the one that brought it up. And she just rambled on and on and on about it. I told her, I said, listen, I can, I can assure you that my beard is probably a lot cleaner than the hair on your head. And I was, I was serious about that. I wasn't saying that to be cutting or to make her feel bad. That's, that's just how well I take care of my beard. It's always clean. I'm very proud of it. And, um, so what I would say to you is, is just don't listen to negative comments because negative comments are one of those things that people, that's one of those things that make people, make guys want to do something different other than what they originally planned. It doesn't matter whether you're growing a five o'clock shadow, a mid-sized beard or, or an epic beard. It doesn't matter. Someone's always going to have something to say about it. Don't let other people move the needle for you whether the opinions are good or bad because people's opinions 
vacillate a lot. And you know how, and, and you gotta be careful, especially with women, because, because you know how women are. One day they love you, the next day they hate you. <laughs> if you wear, like, sometimes I'll, I'll wear, my, my beer products smell really good, so I don't have to, I don't have to use as much cologne as I used to, but I, I'm a cologne guy. And sometimes I'll wear cologne and I'll say to my wife, I said, hey, you like the cologne I'm wearing today? She's like, yeah, I love that. This might be one of my favorite ones you've ever worn. Two weeks later, I'll wear the same cologne and I'll, I'll ask her, you like this cologne I'm wearing? Oh, I hate it. Oh, I hope you never wear that again. It's probably my least favorite thing you've ever worn. I'm like, it's the same thing I wore two weeks ago you said was your favorite. And she knows, she'll tell you she does this. But and it's that way with women. So just don't listen to what other women say about your beard. Now, if your beard, if you're not happy with your beard and your beard looks legitimately, legitimately like crap, it's probably because of over trimming. It's probably because of over trimming. That's why I say, just put the trimmers and the scissors down. Don't touch them. Stop listening to what other people say. Play around with different instruments and different methods and different products and see what works best for you. And you're gonna find out that uh, it's not so bad. Now here's the thing. My beard, I feel like today, my beard looks like crap. Cause I didn't use any heat. I didn't, um, I didn't use a blow dryer. All I did was get up and I put oil in this morning, run a comb through it after I'd washed it. And look, I mean, it probably looks better to you than it does to me. But the reason why I say it looks like crap is because I usually do much more to it. The reason I didn't is because of the weather. Uh, getting up this morning, we had thunderstorms. I knew it was going to rain all day. And my I knew my bear was going to be frizzy no matter what I did to it. Weather plays a factor. So next time you're feeling bad about your beard, ask yourself, does weather play a role in it? Because maybe it's just that maybe it's just that particular day. Maybe it's just the temperature. At a different time of the day or a different time of the year, uh, it, your beard might respond better because it's cooler or it's drier or whatever the case might be. Another thing that contributes uh, to uh, a bad perception or image of your beard to yourself is lighting, bad lighting. So have you ever stood in front of a mirror and looked at your, when you're like, for instance, when I go to Subway and I wash my hands before I eat, I inevitably have to look into the mirror because I'm standing right in front of it and I'll check my beard then. And no matter what my beard's doing that day, my beard always looks great in that mirror. Now I can, I can look at my rear view mirror in my car and it looks horrible. I can look at it on the video and I think it looks horrible, but in that mirror, it's all right. Lighting is everything. Your surroundings are everything. So don't base what you're gonna do with your beard based on the weather or the lighting or even your 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 sense of uh, fashion. Perhaps your you, the beard has changed your look so much that you need to consider wearing different kinds of clothes. You know, different, maybe you need to change the kind of shirts or the kind of shoes and and the pants you're wearing or whatever it is you wear, start start transforming your look because your beard is doing that. Your The rest of you needs to do that at the same time. And that's something that you really need to seriously consider. If you do that, you might think differently about your beard. Uh, and so you, you know how many times in, in growing this out that I've said, I wanna shave this off. I just wanna shave this off right now. I, I wanna go back to a shorter beard or I just wanna go back to a shaved face. But it all comes down to where I'm at in that moment. It all comes down to where I'm at in that moment. And uh, whether someone has said something negative to me or whether I was just in a bad place uh, uh, looking in, in the mirror in bad light or the weather was just messing with it or whatever the case might be. Maybe my clothes, maybe I was wearing the wrong clothes for this. Like for instance, uh, my hair, my beard is increasingly gray. So it doesn't help if I wear a white shirt. My beard looks terrible to me when I'm wearing a white shirt, but looks better when I'm wearing something dark because there's, there's, it's a matter of contrast. So you see what I'm saying? So you gotta do that. Or it, it, am I feeling bad about it because that these products that I'm using aren't agreeing with it today? Maybe it's just maybe it's just a today thing. So be careful, be careful. Don't, don't make any rash moves on your beard journey. Don't, you know, once you have something set in stone, you know, like I said, set a date, set a date on the counter, don't touch it. And when you get to the point where you think, okay, maybe I should do something with it now. Where am I gonna go with this? Wait two weeks before doing anything, wait two weeks. In two weeks, your beard could grow another quarter of an inch and change your look. I know because this, this is a reality to every beardsman, okay? So think about that, 
set a date, wait two weeks, um, play around with different things. You know, if you're if you're used to using, I said something about using a blow dryer and different products. Uh, if you do use a blow dryer and use use a certain amount of tension on your beard to get you know, to groom your beard, and you feel like that's not working, then stop that. Just th use your imagination, change things up, and find out. You know, what happens when you press all these different buttons? That's what having a beard is all about. And it, when you do that, it makes it fun. So, you know, factor in. Factor in disappointing days. Factor in, you know, what triggers you. when What's triggering you when you don't feel good? Pay attention to that. You know, mark, either write it down or commit it to memory. And that way, the next time you feel bad about it, you'll go, well, you know, last time I felt this way because of this and that and the other. But if I give it just enough time... I'll feel differently. So I hope a lot of this has helped. Don't abandon your beard journey. Um, you know, it's okay to go back to a shorter beard. It's okay to, sh to shave your, your beard off. I'm not one of those people who says, oh no, you gotta keep it forever. You can do that, but I'm just saying, be careful for the reasons that you're doing it, okay? If you're doing it for the re if, if if any of this has made sense to you and you can relate, then you'll know that uh, you know, you gotta have a better reason. Than some of these things, like do it, shave your beard off or trim it down when you already feel good about it. That's the time to do it. That's the time to do it. Otherwise, you're gonna regret. And you, you know what? You know what? You're gonna you're gonna miss out on. You're gonna miss out on your beard's potential. And this is what happens when you shave it off and you trim it way down. You start thinking of it. You start seeing these pictures and realizing. You listen to people talk in these videos that if you just would have waited a little bit longer the change would have come. You're gonna miss out on the comforting factor of a beard. A beard is, especially a big beard, is actually quite comforting. Not only to the man himself, but to the people that in his life, because I think a lot of people see a bearded man as being approachable, as being soft, as someone they can settle down with, someone they can trust. And and I I, I personally, I don't know if I have, I haven't heard a lot of people talk about it, but I personally feel like uh, a beard is, rather comforting. So um, you're going to miss out on that. You're going to miss out on on the just the transformation that could have taken place. And you're always going to wonder, what if I just would have stayed the course? That's why I grew my beard back out. All right. So if you have any questions, leave it down in the comment section below. Perhaps I'll make a separate video on just answering those questions. And um, we'll see what happens. But I've got to get going now. I've got something I have to do. Thanks for watching. Please subscribe to the channel, like the video, and I'll uh, I'll catch you in the next one. Make sure you see the uh, description down below for the links like I mentioned before. All right, guys, I'll catch you later. Bye-bye.